Well, hello everyone. It's Tuesday, September 17, 2024. I am Doug. It's time once again to play some Wordle. Um, not 100% sure on the correct pronunciation, so I hope you won't mind if I call you Jeet for short. Jeet writes in, plays. Short, sweet, to the point. Um, and I suspect that means you would like me to start with plays. Your wish is my command. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, okay. All right. Uh, a little nervous when those first two uh, roll out in gray, but we do have an A and it's in position. So I will always consider that a respectable start to our day. Uh, so, okay. That gives us any number of directions we can go here. Uh, boy, you know what? Let me think about that in terms of like just trying like the most common word I can think of here to get as many good consonants and vowels looked at. How about the word trade? T-R-A-D-E will wrap four amazing letters around that letter A. You never know, right? Uh, so is the answer to today's puzzle the word trade? No, it's not. Uh, but now a letter T and an E have both joined the party. So E-T uh, are both here, and they would like us to help them go home. <laughs> I'm just all about bad puns this week. I think that's the idea. Um, okay, so, uh, hmm, what do we want to do here? Um, where would that E go if it wasn't going to be in the last place? What about the second spot? What about something EA? And then either, you know, the T would be in the fourth or the fifth position. Uh, I was going to say heart, but obviously we just tested the R, so that won't be it. Um, hmm. How about Heath? Uh, H-E-A-T-H. -H. Uh, I wonder if we try that. Now, granted, that's an, an unconventional approach because we're um, relinquishing the opportunity to, uh, to do an additional consonant. Uh, we're only testing the H and not a, a, a third consonant. But boy, I, I got to tell you, I think what you get, though, is the very strong possibility that we're going to position um, E and or T. <laughs> so uh, let's lay down those proverbial Reese's pieces and see what we get. Is the answer to today's puzzle the word Heath? No, it's not. But we did place the E as promised, and by process of elimination, we've also placed the T. The only place left for it is at the end. So we go into guess four with three letters. Uh, so we have blank E, A, blank T. Uh, so heart is the first thing that comes to mind, but we tested the H and the R, so that's not going to be it. Uh, I also find myself thinking, okay, it's another case where I like to work backwards here and figure out what makes sense for the fourth spot. And that's an interesting one, right? Um, what does make sense for the fourth one? I would say react, but we've tested the R. So no such luck there. Um, I suppose meant, M-E-A-N-T. Um, I feel, you know, it's, it's a little bit nerve wracking here because I think, again, this all hangs off of, um, what that fourth letter is, but, um, outside of the letter N for the word meant, I can't imagine anything else making sense there. So I feel like I'm supposed to be confident but I'll be honest, I still feel a little nervous about this. Um, I mean, I am testing two fantastic consonants here. Um, but I guess I guess I have to go in this direction and see what we get. Uh, all right, so mildly confident. <laughs> Let's see. Is the answer to today's puzzle the word meant? No, it's not. An M and N, both not part of the puzzle. Okay, um, interesting. So I guess maybe I should take a different approach here. Uh, we know the first letter is not in A, E, or T, for sure. So it's a unique letter. Um, it's not Q, it's not W. I don't think it's W. Uh, it's obviously not going to be a vowel here. Um, uh, 
feast can't work because we tested the S. Um, oh my goodness. Beast can't work because we tested the S. Um, so it's that fourth letter that I feel like I'm stuck on here. Um, blank E A blank T and it can't be an S. Okay. Um, very odd. Rea is there anything else that, that goes with the C? Meaning E-A-C-T. React is not going to be it. I don't see, no pun intended, anything else here. Um, so the only other thing I would say is, for some reason I had a weird pause with this W. Let me just see if I put a visualization. Is there a reason that my brain paused, but I couldn't give it a good reason? Um, no, I don't see it. Nope. Again, no pun intended. Um Goodness, what on earth are we looking at here? Um, this is truly puzzling to me here. Um, it's not a W in front, so I'll take that out. That's just confusing now. Um, my goodness. So Q and W are out of the picture. Z is out of the picture. X is out of the picture. Um uh, the C, I have to rule out because nothing pairs with it in the fourth spot. Um, uh, feast, so with the F, you, you want to say feast, but obviously that's not it. Um, but I don't see anything else that would fit there. So that's not any good. So therefore, I think you have to put the F and rule that out. Um... The G doesn't make any sense. The letter V doesn't make any sense. No. Uh, B, again, same thing. It can't be beast. But what the heck do you put there, right? Um, uh, we, t we tested D and L, so delta's out. Um, uh, is there something with the... the let me just, I'm just doing some visualizations here. No, there's nothing here I'm missing. Um, uh, the, the letter J can't be it, right? No, that doesn't work. Um, my goodness. What's going on here with this? Um, is there something with a vowel, a weird vowel spot? Um, e A U T doesn't make any sense right uh butte like she's a butte b-e-a-u-t is that possible b-e-a-u-t like what b-a-u-t is like short for beautiful like she's a butte that's a phrase like she's beautiful is that uh, is that actually possible here man if that's uh, let me tell you if that's the answer that's a really weird, I mean, it's a valid word. Um, it's a valid word, but I imagine this is going to, this is going to be uh, a, a, a word of doom because it's just so, it's just a weird word, butte, but I've got, I'm honest, I got nothing else. So I'm going to go with that on my fifth guess and uh, lots of hope here. Um, all right. Is the answer to today's puzzle, the word butte? Yes, it is. Wow. Uh, Butte, B-A-U-T, that is your answer for today. Uh, it's just, you know, it, because it's kind of like a, an abbreviation and an expression, I'm not sure that everyone is even familiar with Butte as a word. Um, I guess back in the 80s, there was a movie, Crocodile Dundee, it was like an Australian gentleman who hunted crocodiles, I guess. And that was his catchphrase, ain't she a beaut? Um, so I don't know, man. That's That one's probably going to be tough. Let me know. In the, I can't wait to see the comments on this one. Uh, am I the outlier? Does everyone else know beaut except me? But 
Um, it's very curious to see how you did. Tomorrow is Wednesday, uh, and we are going to uh, have a, have ourselves a B, a spelling B. That's right. We're starting the word spell, S-P-E-L-L, -L, or, or otherwise stated. I'm going to put you all under my enchanting spell. That's right. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow for some more Wordle.